So we've got a bunch of templates that have kind of these edges around them that you can use if you want to. But we don't have templates for everything. So the one thing that we don't have a template for that I really wanted was a nine up. I just want nine images up. I always photograph square, and it just seemed like a real basic thing. So again, I thought, how can I trick it? So I thought, well, I'm getting out of the book module for a minute. Because you know what I have? I have the ability to go over to my print module. In my print module, I can make whatever layout I want. So I think I have, let's go ahead and go, yeah, my life is a workaround. As soon as all the software is perfect everywhere in the world, I wouldn't have a job. Right? I always have to think about, how am I going to make this work with what we have? Right? Because at some point, as they say in the software industry, shipping is a feature. <laughs> Meaning, at some point, you have to ship the product. If the engineers had it their way. Like They never want to leave stuff undone. Right? They just want to develop forever and ever and ever. No, we can make it better. We can make it better. And finally, someone's like, nope, it's going out the door. So, all right, so single image contact sheet. Right? If we go to the layout area here, I might want, let's say, three rows three columns. Oh, I better make my page size and everything. Let's go down to the print size. That'd be smart to start there first. All right, I'm going to print out to a JPEG file. Let's say um, I wanted this. This doesn't really make sense in the window seat book that I'm making right now. But let's say, um, isn't there a, there's a book that's 12 by 12 inches. So I'm going to tap 12 and then 12 inches. All right, and let's take off that black. We don't need that black background there. We'll go to layout here. and. You'll notice here, look at once I go to JPEG, see how I can take off all of the margins because you don't have to have margins for JPEGs. So now I can say, all right, I want three rows, three columns. Let's do a quick little select all. Go to my layouts, uh, my, sorry, my image settings and say zoom to fit. So now I have this nine up template. And if I wanted to, you know, we could go ahead and we could add a little stroke border. In fact, if I make that white and we're printing on white, it'll just look like I've got a little bit of extra room in between each one. So great, so if this is what I wanted, I'm going to be a little careful here because I know I have a lot of photographs. So let's say I'm just going to select these nine because I, I don't need to sit here and wait till it prints everything. But if I said print this to a file and then we'll go to the desktop and we'll just call this um, nine up test and then I'll click save. And now it's going to go ahead and do that. You can see there's the little preparing the print job right there. So it's rendering out each one of those on that paper. I didn't really look at my other print job settings because I was kind of in a hurry. We have 300 PPI, low sharpening, that's good. Glossy, we're going, we're going to glossy, we're going to glossy paper. JPEG, OK, so everything was set fine there. You'll notice that for color management now, instead of picking a printer profile because I'm going to a JPEG, I would pick a color space. So Adobe RGB is just fine. We could go back to the grid view at this point and uh, where did I save that? To the desktop? Yes. Thank you. So one of the ways that you can import into Lightroom, like I have this file on the desktop now, right? So I can drag this down on top of the Lightroom icon, and it'll actually bring up the import dialog box if I want to. Because I didn't put it into any folder that was already imported into Lightroom. So I'll go ahead and just click Import. I don't really need a smart preview. I'm going to add it in place. So here's my current import. Well, I want to add that current import into the collection that I'm working on, which happens to be this window seat. So I could just drag it down. We'll drop it in there. We'll say, yep, there it is. Take me right over to the window seat to open the book. I decide, you know what, I just want here, I just want one image per page. So let's zoom up to the top. And don't we have a full bleed right there? We sure do. So now I believe that was the last image. So we'll just drag and drop that right there. 